Hi, and welcome to this series of training tutorials for the Cosatunes integration with Control 4. In this example, we're going to look at a Cosatunes multi room music system that has support for 12 rooms and four media player sources. We're using the new Cosatunes AV switch and the new media server proxy drivers from Cosatunes. These drivers provide significant improvement over the old iPod proxy driver. By having two drivers, we can provide considerable flexibility in the deployment. You can use these drivers with Cosatunes complete Cosatunes CT systems as well as the legacy Cosatunes XLI and XLE systems. And you can use them with our natively supported audio distribution systems, including those from vendors such as Rust Sound and Nuvo. And you can use these drivers with third-party AV switches that are supported by Control 4 and have their own drivers. So let's look at this project that we've got defined here. We have a home and in the home we have a bunch of rooms and we have a special room called the equipment room which is where we're going to put the Cosatunes components. Because Cosatunes supports the SDDP protocol it will automatic control 4 will automatically discover all the different Cosatunes components. So let's go ahead now and add these components to the equipment room. You'll see there's a discovered component for each MS for each Cosatunes media server proxy player driver as well as a discovered component for the Cosatunes AV switch. So let's go ahead and add our players first. To do that, simply select the room that you want to install the components in and double click the Cosatunes component to add to that room. So we'll just shorten the name here to be player 4. We'll add the next player. So now we've added all four players, and you can see from the properties that um, they re resolve the IP address using the SDDP, that we are connected, and uh, also which source this refers to. So in this case, player one re is referring to source one on the AV switch. Uh, player two would re re refer to source two, and so forth. Now let's go ahead and add the AV switch. So we're going to go ahead and add the AV switch to the equipment room. Okay. And we can just go ahead and just call that AV switch. Okay, so at this point we've added our Cosatunes components. Now what we have to do is we need to connect these different components. So let's switch to the connections tab. And let's go ahead and start with the players themselves. So we're going to take player one and we're going to connect the player one audio out to the audio in one on the Cosatunes AV switch. And so we'll just hook these guys up. Uh, that was one, two, three, and four. Okay, so what we've done now is we've connected our players, we've connected the audio out of our players to the audio in on our AV switch. Now we've got to connect the room outs on our AV switch to the individual rooms in the house. Physically connect the correct rooms. So you've got to make sure that room one on the AV switch is connected to the backyard. Uh, room two is connected to the kitchen, so forth. The best thing to do is actually just to organize these rooms based on the physical order of the rooms defined on your AV matrix switch. So if we switch over to the Cosatunes setup utility uh, and you go into the rooms options, you can see here uh, all the rooms that were defined and these are presented in the physical order. So this means that the backyard is connected to 
room one on the AV switch. The kitchen's connected to room two and the and studio's 11 and, and guest is 12. So what we've done is we've mirrored this in our control four setup so that this makes it really easy to set up. Uh, this makes it really easy to set up the connection. So let me show you how to do that. So if I just now go to the, the backyard uh, and what I want to do is I want to configure the audio endpoints and the audio volume. So if I pick the audio endpoint for the back for the backyard, you'll see here that it, it uh, is easy to pick room one over here. And similarly, if I audio volume one over here, it's easy to pick room one over here. And now when I go to room two and I pick the audio endpoint, I can see that my room one's already connected. So it's easy now to, to select room two. Okay, and now basically we repeat this for each of the rooms uh, defined above. Okay, so now that I have, have uh, named all my rooms, you can see here on the AV switch that we have configured all the rooms. So now I've done that, uh, the only thing left at this point is to essentially, is basically just refresh my navigators. And that's it. And that's all the configuration that we have to do. In the next video, we're going to look at how to use Control 4 with Cositance.